Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Soulmate Twin Flame reading for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. I can't believe we're already in September, right? Um, what I would like to say, this is for sun, moon, and rising. This is a general reading. So even if it sounds like your life that we're talking about, and it could be because it could you could be in that group of people, the only way to know if it's actually your life is to either wait and see how things uh, play out or you can book your own personal reading. I would like to thank all of you who subscribed, liked, and shared my videos. And for those of you who have purchased readings and donated to my channel, I love doing this for you. If you would like a personal reading, again, this is a general reading. So don't send me all the emails saying, hey, this isn't happening because you may not be in the group that this is pertaining to. Um, but if you would like a personal reading, please go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com. When you go through the site, you will see there are tabs at the top. They're all over. It's very easy to navigate through there. Um, you can look at the readings that are available. Select the one that sounds like it's appropriate for you. You pay for it on the site, and it tells you exactly on the site what to do at that point, what to send me so that I can conduct it, book and conduct your reading. Um, so, for this last week of August, the first card we have is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is a person who has built an abundant life. Um, she's got everything, and this is male or female. These are energies that I am speaking of, okay? Uh, not a specific sign because everybody can embrace these energies and I'm reading for thousands of people. So this is a person who has created an abundant life. They have all their ducks in a row. They have everything they need. They're very emotionally happy. They are emotionally available to give and receive. They are missing one thing, which is why her cup, if you look, her cup is holding out because she's this person, want, the one thing they need and want is love. So they're looking for somebody to fill that cup. And this is followed by the world. Great card that is successfully completing a cycle of your life and beginning a brand new cycle. So you did good now and now the good stuff's coming in for you. It's followed by the tower. The tower is the universe coming in and creating a situation breaking down a belief system that you have opening up for other opportunities to come in now for some of you this could mean you and your partner psh, done for others what you had is done and now you can move forward in a brand new beginning filled with emotional abundance love okay and this is followed by very nice the ace of pentacles so the ace of pentacles is an opportunity given from above to start a brand new beginning filled with everything on the material plane a, a solid grounded foundation and that would be your cars houses furniture jobs money investments careers um, and it includes relationships because that is in the real world. That's in the world we live in, the existing world. I am going to clarify. I always clarify the um, the court cards, but I'm also going to clarify the tower, okay? And we'll see what comes out with this. Okay, so for the Queen of Cups, we have the Eight of wands the eight of wands is about communication so for some of you you are going to receive communication this is communication coming in very fast it's from a, a normally it is from a distance so they could live in a different state country they can live on the other side of you know i live in colorado so it can be on the other side of colorado it's still in the same state but it's very far away but this is fast communication coming in. And what I like about this card is, you see this little angel has, that's like the the bow from the Cupid that shoots his bow and arrow, you know, to pierce you with love. And that's what is going to happen. You have communication coming in. 
it's somebody from your past most likely at a distance and what they're going to do is they are going to share with you how they feel and there's an opportunity it's going to to take your belief system now for some of you this could mean you're thinking the relationship is over and the universe is coming in to end what was and you have an opportunity when they contact you or you contact them to create a brand new beginning a beautiful solid foundation that can turn into a long-term relationship to clarify the tower we have the knight of wands so the knight of wands is a very fast moving energy this person is very um, charming very uh, has a lot of charisma attractive very good looking individual very good in society knows how to communicate very well with people in general people like this person um, so for some of you you have a new person coming in that's going to change your world for others of you this is going to be the person that I'm talking about coming back from the past and they are going to convey information to you that is going to change your belief system in a positive way for most now some of you it's not going to be in a positive way but I'm hearing for the the main group that I'm referring to it's going to happen in a really beautiful way like they're coming in mercury's in retrograde we're still dealing with the um the eclipse that just took place uh you have people coming back from the past right now so it fits the time zone of where we are astrologically in our world but this person is coming in very fast fast communication fast, you know knights of wands are quick they're really quick now knight of wand can also be somebody who's coming in just for sex which can turn your world upside down especially if you have your partner coming back from the past that can cause your belief system to come crashing down but again i'm hearing for the majority of you you have this is the person from the past they want to offer you passion they want romance they want a new beginning with you and because you've completely successfully completed a cycle in your life many of us are closing so we just closed ended cycles there's a, a small smaller group of people that still have a little bit left to complete um, which would be this this group of people now for those of you in a relationship your relationship as it stands right now may be changing for the better it may not feel like it at the moment but what's going on you may not you may be uh, emotionally estranged from your partner meaning the two of you may not be on the same page you may not be connecting right but you both you definitely who are watching this you've completed a cycle in your life successfully and even though this is coming in to change your world it's going to lead you to a brand new beginning a solid foundation long term so the relationship that you have is changing for the better for some you could be parting ways with them but honestly I I'm not really seeing that I'm not hearing that the communication is going to come in that is fast and it is going to be filled with passion and truth there's a sense of truth coming through this so the romance angel card that came out for you is attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so that's a beautiful card so whoever is contacting you there is a deep attraction to them and they're going to come in and it is going to change the world that you have now what it can be for some of you you may not be with anybody it may be somebody from the past that you never actually dated could be somebody from past life they're coming in very quick and they are absolutely crazy about you and they're gonna offer you a beginning so I like that I'm an Aquarius yay um, 
Yeah, so Aquarians, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'd love to hear your comments. Much love.